Hello, welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, uh, I almost did forget to uh, grab my camera, but I think I'm sort of in time because I'm in the process. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I need to film this. It's, uh, first of all, the plan itself is a little bit crazy. So let's, uh, let's, let me explain. We see here a, a beautiful pot. Uh, it was actually a lid of something that I made in a pot because it's very wide and not that deep. So I thought that's very handy for uh, a Miltonia. In this case, it was um, this one was growing in there, my Flavsons, Miltonia Flavsons, if I pronounce it right. And it has a beautiful root system. It's not that long in my possession, but we have new roots started. But I uh, took it out because I have a bit of a sort of problem with uh, this one. You can see this is my biggest Miltonia and it's the Arachnellii that did uh, put up quite some uh, spikes last year and uh, but you can see it's hanging uh, against the pot here with a new growth and some are already uh, hanging over the pot on this side as you can see. So I thought yeah I tried to find a bigger pot not as deep because I don't think the Miltonias like to root very deep but more more uh, sideways in different directions I think I'm not completely sure so I thought I need a uh, yeah kind of lid again like this one this pot is uh, quite some uh, uh, centimeters bigger in, in white than the pot where this one is currently in so I thought yeah I need to take this one out put it in uh, this pot and the one that was in this pot the flavescent uh, over here needs to go in that part. <laughs> so yeah, but um, so it's a bit crazy, but I think it will work. So I'm going to continue uh, my uh, my job here. One, the first one did come out very easily, but this is going to be a uh, job. So let me set it up, and we will uh, see if we can get it out of the pot. So. Now we can have a closer look. So this is a project, and I must admit, I was starting already uh, without the uh, without filming. But um, then I thought, no, I need to film this. I, I I would want to see this as a viewer. So I hope you will enjoy this uh, video. Uh, here and there, I might speed it up because I I have no idea how long this will take. But I have a feeling that it might take a little while because of uh, we even have some roots. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you now can see not that much, but we even have some coming out of the pot. And as far as I can see, this pot is filled up with roots. So you might ask, why would you take it out? Well, like I explained earlier, I want to keep this plant as one part as long as I can, just to see what happens if you really have a specimen plant and probably it will shoot out more spikes and etc. So that's why I'm going to keep it as one plant uh, as long as possible. Okay. Here we go, let's try to get it out of the pot. And like I said, it's going to be tricky. I hope you can hear it. I, I have a, or a new mic, but it's not in yet. So uh, I hope you will uh, hear me. Let's put it a little bit more closer to the camera. I need to adjust it a little bit. So, well, let's go. Oy, 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 oy. I really hate doing this, but I need to do it. Because the new growth will shoot out a new roots and those will not reach the pot if I keep it in like I have now. So, fingers crossed. If this goes well, <laughs> we hope so, we hope so. Um, I don't know how to hold this pot to be honest. Let's try to do it like this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry guys. And just try to pull it a little bit, but it doesn't work. Let's uh, try it with my other hand. Maybe I don't want to break new roots. Preferably not too much, too many roots as well. Oh, it really is in there, you guys. Try to uh, pull a little bit the pot uh, outwards, if that makes sense. Like uh, like this. I hope you can see it. And push it back and forth and back and forth. 
just to get some uh, space around the roots so they hopefully will untangle and let go of the pot they, I think they really enjoy this home <laughs> but they uh, need to uh, move so they all can stay as one plant yes there it is I hope you saw that a little bit of movement and I felt it it's now coming loose and I have no idea what I will find in the pot because it's a black pot obviously but I have a feeling that this one has quite some roots. Oh yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my god. Do you see that? Oh my god. I never had this have so many roots. Look at that. Completely pot bound. Oh, this this is what I this is what I dream of when I start growing new orchids, if they will do so well. I, I think we all do. So yeah, we lose some, but we gain some as well. I never had this happen so far. Um, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> this is the most important part, of course. The roots first and the, the rest will follow. So, But I need to put it down. It's quite heavy. Uh, so let's take it out quickly. And let it rest. I uh, was pulling it up by some bulbs and I don't want to break them, of course. And you see, the pot is filled with ceramics. I'm not a big fan of ceramics, but it works for self-watering or semi-hydro as well. So, uh, but I like to give them a little bit more um, air around the roots. So, uh, but it, uh, this one was enjoying it. Okay, um, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we're uh, going to put this uh, back in its pot. And that will be quite easy because it has inorganic media, which we love. A heck of a root system, which is obviously perfect. More than perfect, it's, it, it's, it's great. So we can work with that. So the only thing I have to do is put it in a new pot and uh, let it grow on. So I will uh, clean up, like I said, and I will be uh, right back. So let me uh, show you first uh, the new setup for this uh, huge orchid. Um, I have this tray which I will fill with water and another tray in there to keep the pot a little bit above the water and some wicks to get slowly the water inside of the pot because I found that especially in winter the water cools down a little bit too much for the roots so I have a, on a few of them especially on the warmer growers a little bit of extra root die off because they are standing in the water normally it's not a problem if they have their water roots but in winter I have my greenhouse around 18 degrees that's the surrounding uh, temperature and the water itself will get sometimes uh, down to 16 or even 15 and especially on the warmer growers so like a Miltonia, Cattleya, that type of orchids uh, will have some root die back so therefore I uh, put it uh, like this in the system so we'll have the wicks like I said getting the water inside it's a little bit wobbly but I think it will be okay once I have it on my shelf and just don't touch it too much but I can easily see the water level so I don't need my water meter in here so uh, yeah that's the setup so let's uh, uh, get the camera in the best uh, better position and uh, we will start uh, repotting this one so I have my uh, media ready it's the small pumice and this one I get, did get from my bonsai store. It's very dusty. Nothing uh, that I uh, that I'm used to. I must admit. Normally I get it in a, in the garden centers, but they went out, so I bought it online. But this is very dusty, so probably will still have some dust in there. But I will try my best. And to be honest, I thought, well, I'm going to pot it uh, before I did get it out of the pot uh, in the bigger uh, pumice to get more uh, air around it. But now I see it was potted up in the uh, Cintiq and it's doing so well. So I will keep it uh, with the smaller version, smaller media. So that's said and done. I have the pot ready, so I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit and uh, let's give this a go. And hopefully this will stay. Maybe I, I will get a tray out and I will put it underneath when, I'm, when we're done. So it's a little bit more stable on the, on the table. Um, I have a big scoop, uh, a small scoop and a big scoop. <laughs> you never know. So let's uh, let's put it in uh, into place. I 
I need a little layer, as far as I can see, of new media. So I put a little bit underneath that wick in the middle, as you can see. So it, it's really touching that new media. Probably will lose some media through those holes, but I think in the end it will stop falling through. So I think this is enough. And I, need to, I needed to wash some media because I didn't have enough and now it's very sticky and I don't like it, but anyhow. <laughs> we will do, we have to do uh, deal with it. So let me carefully grab the argus and put it into place. Yes, this is on a nice level of the pot, so I don't have to get it out anymore. Well, at least I need to uh, look at the position. Because these guys are already uh, very close, they can obviously uh, grow in this spot for one year. But let's try to make it two years if that is possible. Let me see. We have more space around this area where my hand is moving. So I can move it a little bit uh, towards that side and hopefully that gives me a little bit more space for those growths uh, here and here. So I'm going to move it a little bit, if that helps, because in the middle the pot is at its widest. So I hope new growth there, yeah maybe it's move a little bit more towards the camera like this. Yeah I think this is the best setup. I have now quite even room here and hopefully for this year and next year. That would be uh, very uh, great, obviously. So now I only have to fill up uh, the, the spaces with, uh, with the new media. And this spot is quite a little bit bigger. That was the plan, of course. So I'm happy with that. But it uh, will take up quite some scoops of media because the pot is so big. But that's okay. It will have plenty of room to grow. More roots, it's already working on new roots with a new growth. I will uh, show it to you in a, in a second. Um, yeah, we have, I think you can see it over here, new roots started. Um, but, can I get it in? Like I said, it's a little bit sticky. The media, so it sticks, it stays on the scoop as well, but it is what it is. Luckily, I had the media. I knew I had it, otherwise I wouldn't do every part, of course. But like I said, at first I thought it will do the big stuff, but I, uh, I changed my mind because it's doing so well on the. Uh, Cintiq, which is obviously the small Cintiq that I had for a few years. Try to get some media. And I will put a wick, a wick around it. Putting it inside a pot. So it can do its job. Let's use a stick. A little bit of air gaps is not a problem, but I don't want too many. So I use this uh, little stick to uh, pull down the media. 
Don't try not to press it too much. Like I said, just push it down. Because my fingers are a little bit too thick for this little uh, area. So uh, that stick is very handy. So that looks very great. This area is a little bit easier because we have more space around uh, the pot. Let me uh, put this one aside so we can have a better a vision of what's going on. So we can now see it. We have uh, some room. As you can see, I can easily put my hand in. So this pot is quite uh, a bit bigger. That makes me happy, and probably well, well worth this uh, this repot. So this plant can be uh, stay kept as one plant, which, uh, like I said, I like. So something like that. Don't forget the wick. I will pull it around the pot onto the media and put a bit of extra media on top of it. Like that. More media, I think. Oops. Slowly putting it into place. Even though it has a lot of roots, I don't want to break any, of course. If not necessary. Um, yeah, I did break a few of those, I, I believe. So yeah, let me uh, grab the camera from the tripod and we will have a close, close look, close up. So just a little. Close up, as you can see, we have one new root already going into the media, <laughs> but um, I hope it will continue to grow. But I did break a few here, as you can see. Those tips are lost, but we have a few new ones. That's uh, those are okay, and the rest I think it looks very well. It's a little bit darker here, but let me see. This one, as you can see, new roots coming new roots coming over here so yeah this will be fine i think it's a perfect uh, time to do uh, this repot even though it has quite a uh, large root system you never know i think it will uh, take well but we have some uh, reserve roots uh, on the go as well so they will take over i will now give it this a, a top dressing of my uh, new uh, almost black stones so uh, let's have a look at those i found this uh, yesterday and i really like them and if I can find the uh, English name for them, I will uh, put it up. But I will uh, grab them so we can have a look at them. So yeah, I found these uh, little, little black, very dark grey black stones. And now I'm going to use those as a top dressing, <laughs> like you call it, for, to keep uh, providing it from getting a top dry layer in summer, the pot. But uh, yeah, I, as you probably know, I really like uh, black. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to give this a go and uh, probably replace the other stones, the other pebbles. So um, if you are living in the Netherlands, these are called basalt, basalt, basalt stain. And these are uh, little pieces of basalt. Uh, it's a type of uh, lava rock, but not porous. It's very smooth. It doesn't hold water, but it keeps the water longer in the pot. At least that's the plan. It's a top dry layer. So I uh, will scoop. A few of those and I make some noise, I apologize. And carefully place them, like I said, as a top layer on the top. At least at places where I can reach, doesn't need to cover everything. But as much as we can. Like I said, it's all for top to keep.
keep uh, providing the pot from drying off too quickly. And especially in summer, that happens quite uh, quite easily. So, uh, and like I said, I like the look of this these stones. It makes it very uh, fancy, I think. <laughs> if you like black, not everyone does, but I uh, I do. I obviously do. I wear uh, most of the times black or a other dark color. Just uh, my personal preference. You can uh, basically use every stone, but you need to know if stones are painted or something. I wouldn't use them because the paint can get in your pot. So try to look up your stones before you uh, oops, start using them. You never know what they uh, made of and can uh, put in your pots. But my husband did look it up and he said it was mostly magnesium and iron and some other natural stuff, so it's it's sort of inorganic stone. I don't know how it works exactly, but it uh, sounds very uh, promising. <laughs> and of course, I already bought it before I did look it up, I, I must admit. <laughs> but if you want to be sure, just look it up before you buy it. I was like, well, if I cannot use it for market, I will use it in the garden or something. It's so beautiful. So I think uh, this will do. I really, uh, really like the top dry layer. So I will uh, put this uh, arcade back and we will start on the other one. And then it was time to do the next one. As you can see, I already did put in a layer of uh, some lacquer and some bigger pieces of pumice that's to uh, provide these little ones to uh, going through the holes inside of that pot so i will not only use these uh, small ones because we saw that uh, the miltonians do really like uh, like this setup with the smaller media so uh here is my flavescent Mil miltonia as you can see Hopefully like this, it's a, it's a really is a climber. Let me put the camera up a little bit, like this. So yeah, this was his original uh, growing uh, habit. It was mounted, I took it off and it does make new roots. So I put it like this in a pot, so it takes up extra space, but I hope the new growth will grow uh, straight up now. So I can keep it a bit easier in a uh, pot, but, they still will uh, try to climb because that's how they are. So this one gets in the older pot as the uh, where we, where we saw we just previously took the other one out, and hopefully this will uh, do the same. Uh, does as well as the other one. I see a little bit of dark spotting here that I uh, I will show you uh, when I put it up, and I think I will. Uh, I should have taken it off now. Well, actually, let me show it to you guys. Um, yeah, let me put my finger there, you can see here, this is a, a spot of the orchid that I don't like, it's uh, mushy, so um, I will take, uh, take this part off, just to be safe, so let's do that first before we uh, repot it, and I have my clippers here, so I will take it off and put some of that cinnamon onto that rhizome. So just uh, try to make a clean cut here. There you go. And I think we did well. And I have no purple ring or whatsoever, as you hopefully can see. So that's, uh, that's good. So I don't know why this started to rot, but like I said, just uh, better be safe than sorry. Oops. Those new growths, I don't want to break them off, of course. I will put some cinnamon on there when we uh, when we finished uh, repotting this one. Because then it's a bit easier. If I now put cinnamon on and I move the orchid around, probably some cinnamon will fall in the pot. And that's not heavy. Of course. So, um, I try to put it in the pot as well as what I did with the other one, try to uh, give it as much room as possible. I think this is a nice uh, position. 
So I will uh, start filling it up with quite some media because this is a large pot of course. And I try not to break any roots. But this one is also making a, quite a nice, nice root system, but still, of course, we want to try to keep as many roots as we can. And let's put it down. Go back, can move it back a little bit more. Some media in there as well, you never know. And a little bit between those bulbs there. And the rest I will fill up with my uh, pebbles. My new black fancy pebbles. <laughs> because I don't need much water there, because that's the older part of the plant. But I would like to have some media here of course some moist media because here we have the new growths but i think we did cover it quite well so let's uh, put this uh, to a side so we have a little bit more room to work with and there they are again <laughs> Sorry for the noise in between. Some uh, pebbles underneath that new growth. That very small one there. We have a bigger one here and another one coming. And I don't want to bury that, of course. But I do want to bury those new roots. Will grow better into the media. Into the media, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you already can see that these new growths uh, start to grow up more upwards towards the light, not more in this direction, diagonal, but uh, or horizontal, I should say, but more uh, upwards. And that's what I want, of course. Like I said, then it will be a little bit easier to keep it in a pot. Some pebbles in between. Those bulbs. And a few there. Probably put those in with by hand, because it's a little bit more easier for me to reach. That's very nice. Uh, so let me uh, grab the name tag and I will use that to uh, put a little bit of cinnamon on that wound we just made. So I will put a little bit of cinnamon, whoops, just a little less, a little bit cinnamon, let me see, on the tip of a the label, as you can see, it's very easy to uh, put it in that area where you want it. Uh, then rather have, rather have it uh, on your um, fingers. I found this a little bit, bit, little bit easier. And there we go. So uh, the residue I just take off with my fingers and. It's now on my clothes, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's put the cinnamon aside. We don't want uh, that in our pots, of course. So I will uh, adjust uh, the date on the label with the new date so I know when uh, this one was potted up in this new setup. And um, then we will visit them uh, again in, in, uh, inside the greenhouse. So I will be uh, right back. So let's go uh, visit them, and they are over here. 
this is the flame stand we just did in her new home and I really like the pot, it's a beautiful color with a red, dark red color but I also like the pebbles on top it's just a beautiful display I think so uh, yeah I hope uh, she didn't mind, she didn't need a repot but I needed that pot <laughs> and this pot obviously and here she is our big Miltonia um, Arachnellii, yes, there it is. And I think it uh, looks really great. Beautiful big pot. And at least this year it will have enough room to put out uh, the roots inside of the pot. And here in the back it's very close, but maybe if it starts to uh, grow over the, the edge of the pot, probably some roots will go in uh, this water reservoir as well, so that wouldn't be the end of the world. So I think I can uh, let it grow in here for at least two more years. So here we see obviously a wick that is touching the reservoir here. And like I said, I have the reservoir open above the water, especially because uh, in the winter, so it will not get too cold inside of the pot. But uh, let me go back a little bit and have her in the whole frame, but uh, yeah, there they are. So uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can uh, still not believe that this one has such a big, big root system. So, so happy with it. But uh, So yeah, I think uh, it was a nice video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. For now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!